Okay. Hi, I'm back. I thought I was. I thought I didn't have to come back, but I guess people want me to. I guess there were people that I, I forgot. Well, I didn't see them there, so I got phone calls that. Um, hey, you forgot this person. You didn't do this person. So I am back, you know, and I am going to do um, as much as people as I can. Who do I need to do? Hello, Magdalena, right? Yeah, what's the name? Rivas, Magdalena Rivas. Okay. I wasn't going to go back, but, you know... People did call me and say, hey, you you know, they send me text. So I'm going to do right now at the, um, who am I going to do? I'm going blind too. Um, who am I going to do? Uh, Rivas Magdalena. Okay. Rivas Magdalena. I'm going to do you now. Okay. I didn't have no intentions of going coming back here, but... Like I said, you know, I wasn't I wasn't seeing in in my in my feed who was there and who wasn't there. So Okay, this goes for Miss Um Rivas, right? That's her name, Magdalena Rivas? Yes. Hello, girl. You've been procrastinating on something that you should have taken care of a long time ago. Now is the time that you have to um, really um, focus and dissolve that situation. You have to have some type of communication with that um, going with, with that situation. You also need to um, I don't know if it's that you're feeling left out, you're feeling that that person is not showing you the type of love that you expect, but it, it has to do with love. It has to do that um, uh, you have to take you have to take um, action now. You it, it just you have to you there is something that is eating you inside, and you haven't dissolved that situation with with that person. Whether it's that. You guys are together and not in, 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 in good standing or that, you know, you guys, you know, took a, um, you, you took a, a separation from each other, but there's something that is eating you inside and you need to take action right now. You need to open that door of communication because um, what they're saying to me is that you want that love back. You want the you know, everything to be the way it was, but there's issues there that, um, I'm not going to let you know on, on, on the air what it is because it's really nobody's business, but you need to, you need to talk about it. If you don't talk about it, everything's going to stay the way it is, which is not making you happy. So you need to, um, you need to talk, you need to just, you know, whether, they hurt at you or, you know, there's secrets that you found out and it's eating you inside, but you need to, to, to take matters into your hands and you need to talk about that situation because that situation is not going to go away and it always does. It's eating you inside. Don't blame yourself for it. Um, it's not your fault, but you need to have that conversation, um, with that person because, um, you're not happy. So if you're not happy, you need to sit down and let them know why you're not happy. But you need to have that conversation. That conversation is there. Don't wait till next year to have that conversation. Do that conversation now. Because um, otherwise, you're not going to have a good holiday. And I don't know about you, but I love my Christmas. Okay, the next one, who's there? Oh, my God. Who else is there? Um, all right. Um, I'm going to do now. Well, thank you, Miss um, Miss Madeline Rivas. You know, if you want to know more about that, if you want to do, if you want to know more about that situation, you can kind of inbox me, and I'll let you know. 
Now I'm going to do Mr. Delfilo Vasquez. You need to lower me. Top it on. Yo, you need to lower me. All right, Mr. Vasquez. All right, Mr. Vasquez, this is what I have to tell you. Um, you have a creative side, whether it's that you work with your hands or you like to build things and stuff like that. But right now, in um, you you feel disconnected with um, with um. You feel disconnected with family, friends, your home, even with your own self. You feel very um, disconnected. You feel that um, sometimes you feel like if you were in the, I don't, the, the way I see it is like if you are lost, like if you were in the woods and you couldn't find your way back home, that's what I see with you. Um, there's an emptiness. There's an emptiness around you. There's an emptiness that no matter how much you try to fulfill, it has not been fulfilled. Um, you question a lot of things in your life. You question a lot of things about yourself. And um, you just need to find the answer because it's like you're looking, you're looking. Is uh, Picture yourself um, in the woods and you're about to enter the woods, and you don't know if you're going to make a right, left, or continue forward. But I, your cards are like you're very disconnected. You you are a good person. You like to help other people, but sometimes you don't get the same, you know, results in return. You you do like to, I don't know, um, you like to work a lot with, you know, uh, with your hands. You, 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 um, but there's no joy. I don't see joy in you. I don't see, I don't see, um, like a true happiness in you. I just feel like you're disconnected with a lot of things. You're disconnected with, with, with families, with friends, and you're also disconnected with your own self. I don't know if you are um, feeling depressed at the, at the moment. Um, I don't know if you are feeling like, um, um, people have taken advantage of you or whatever, but you're not, you're not happy and you feel disconnected. The, that's what I picked up a lot. The word disconnect just keeps popping out. You're very disconnected. Um, so you need to, you need to find your way back home. That's the only way I can, um, you know what I'm talking about. Um, that's the only thing I can tell you. you. You need to find your way back home. You need to find. You need to find out. You need to find you again. You need to find that that um. You need to find that happiness in you, that hunger for life in you. You need to right now. I, I pick up from you that you're just like there. You're just like there. There's not. It, it's like there's no meaning in a lot of things that is in your life, and you you feel disconnected. Like you can't connect. You're disconnected. You know, like when you have a light. And you're disconnected from the wall. You can't see or nothing. That's how I picked up with you. You're very disconnected. You're disconnected with a lot of things. You were with people and with emotions. You're just very disconnected. And you need to find your way back home. That's I, I can't go any deeper than that. Um, but that's what I see. You're very disconnected. Who else I got there? I did Gloria. I did Rebecca. Thank you. I, all right, um, Ms. Madeline. Hey, Mary Kay, how you doing? Um, yeah, I'm um, Madeline Rivas. Yes, Madeline Rivas. You need to, you need to, to have that conversation because it, it's, it's really eating, it's eating you inside. So, um, so that's eating you inside, and you need to, um, if if you don't have that conversation, it's it, you, you want to have that conversation before you go into the new year because you deserve to to get the answers and you're not getting, you know, it's eating you. You need to, to that's all. Okay. You need to watch that. Okay. I guess that's it. Um, oh. All right. Elba Marcel, I'm going to do you. 
That's the one I have. Okay, Miss Elba Marcel, I think that's it is. Okay. All right, Elba. I see that you do have, you know, you're you're a person that has patience and you like to give people the benefit of the doubt. And um, I know that you're a person that likes to observe people. You like to study people. You you have a lot of knowledge. You know, you don't take um, what a person tells you in, in face value until you see the actions behind what they're telling you. I also see that um, the Archangel Raphael, uh, you've been asking whether it's God, the angels, or some entity that is, you know, that is um, spiritual. You've been asking them for help. You do have some healing that you need to do with your own self. It has to do with, you know, with, with, with your own physical um, I don't know if it was that um, you just had an accident or something, but it's something physical that you need to to heal within yourself. You also need to heal some of the emotions that you have. You um, at times, you know, you you become sad for no apparent reason. You have a lot of things that are bottled bottled up inside of you that you need to address. You are also you need to take action. You need to you need to you can't change who you are and you can't allow someone to change you so um, they can be happy with you because if you're not happy being yourself, there's no way you're going to make anybody else happy. So you, you have to, you know, you, you have to know the truth of who you are and what is it that, um, that you're willing, you, you do have trust issues. You really don't trust people. There's a situation that happened to you that, um, made you lose trust in people and to gain that trust back is very hard um sometimes you feel that um uh, you're always questioning what people tell you you know because you've been hurt you you know you've been hurt you you've been you know play you you've given out you've given a lot and you've gotten nothing back in return ex not to the magnitude that you have given you know um but you need to take actions right now. You also need to, to you know, you knew, you know what the truth is and you need to um, act upon it. Either you're going to do what you feel that you need to do or you're just going to keep, um, I don't want to say living a lie, but it's almost like that because you're, you're not being truthful to, to what you want, who you are. And, you know, and even though you have patience and even though, you know, um, you, you, you know, you cry, you cry. Um, that that sadness just, you know, that uh, that sadness that you have, it pops up and it, when you least expect it, you know. And um, you're all you're doing is beating yourself because um, you had a little bit of part to do with this, but in reality, you can't take the full blame for it. But um, you know. I, you know, God bless you because you got patience because I don't have patience, but you do have patience. But, you know, you, you have some physical challenge that you need to address and you need to know the truth about, um, about, um, the situation. You know, it's a, it's a, it's a situation that, you know, it broke you, you know, it's a situation that broke you, broke who you are, what you thought about. Uh, it broke your trust. It, it, it just kind of broke you. And you have tried to build yourself again, and um, you can't. So you have to try to be honest with yourself because um, you're the type of person that what I saw in your car is that uh, you're a people pleaser. You like to please everybody, but who, who's pleasing you? you know, be honest. Who's pleasing you? You can't. You... you you can't save everybody, and in the process that you're saving people, you're drowning yourself. You can't do that. That's that's not going to be beneficial to you. 
and that's what I picked up with you. And I guess that's it. Let me see one more, and that's it. You're welcome, Re uh, Madeline. Uh, hi, uh, um, that was for Eba Marcel that I just finished reading. Okay, um, that's it. Okay, so Philo, you want me to do? You want me to do? Um, Delia, Delia Vasquez. Okay, you need to. Um, Delia Vasquez. All right, I'm gonna do Delia Vasquez, and I think I'm gonna use these cards. Okay. I'm going to do Delia, and then after Delia, who would I do? Okay. Richie Mer Mer Marlin. Hi. I think I did you, Richie. You know? But if I, yeah, yes, you're amazing. You hit it on the nose. Well, thank you, Eva. you know? Okay, so I'm going to do, okay, you want me to do Gio? I'll do Gio Ortiz, and I'm going to do De Desiree. You need, you need to... Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna do right now Delia um Vasquez. For um, Delia Vasquez, um, it's like you have lost faith and hope in, in your dreams. There's a, a, a there's a there's a, a, a personal problem that has to be addressed. Um, that you have to come to a resolution with that. Um, you know, um, you 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 keep looking for those answers you 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 keep looking for this and that and it, and it's not happening the way you anticipate it but you have um whether i don't know if it's it's personal it could be family problems it could be you know issues like you you're um at times you can be sweet at times you're more like a crab you don't want to you know it's like um it's like um it's like all. It's like everything you believe, like all your, 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 your. You know the faith you had in, 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 in accomplishing dreams, and, and this is like everything has just like flown away, and you're, you're, you're in the middle. Um, and even though there might be people around you, um, uh, at times you feel, at times you feel disgusted with, with a lot of the things. But there's a huge family personal issue that you need to resolve that needs to be resolved um that is what is not allowing you for you to um be happy it's not really allowing you because it it it, it it's always there it's always in your mind it's you know but you need to you know uh, you those an you're not going to get the answers to to this problem until you know again you have to um you have to lay down the, the cards. That's it. Bing bomb, this is it. You, you know, you have to lay out the cards. But um, you know, the you know, part of you have faith that this is gonna work out, but a part of you is like, um it's not gonna work out. It's like it's like going in circle. It's like going in circle. So this situation you need to you need to like um I you know you need to really address it. Um I, I I I um I pick up with you like you you cry but you don't show the tears to people but you cry like inside. There's a there's your there's a sadness. There's a sadness and that sadness has to do with this personal issue that there might ha you might have to make the decision that it's done, it's over. You know, and you don't really want to come to that conclusion, but you are very fuss, um, flustered. You're very frustrated with the whole situation. Like all your dreams and everything you had, it's like everything is like, 
you know, it's like, you know, it's like gone. It's like you feel that where you are now is not where you had anticipated to be. It's like, you know, you, you try to go forward, but you kind of go back. You know, so um, you're like you're being misunderstood, misguided and and stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? It's like a very loneliness. It's really loneliness. You know what I'm saying? So that's it, Miss Vasquez. Who else do I got? Um, Mrs. Caroline Ayala. I'm going to do you and um, and Gio. That's who I have. I'm going to do Gio. And first, okay, Miss Caroline Ayala. I'm going to do that. well, Mary Kay Dispensa, I did you yesterday. I remember I did you. You need to get me on. Okay, so I, I remember I did you yesterday, Miss um, Mary Kay Dispensa. So I'm going to do Caroline Ayala today. And then after that, I will do Mr. Gio. Mrs. Um, Ayala, your your faith and your hope is what has helped you to continue being positive, even when around you there's not a lot of positive people and there's people that don't have dreams. I see that there's a new addition coming to your family. I don't I don't know if it's a marriage or a child being born into your family. It doesn't necessarily mean that it could be with you, but someone in your circle. There's um. Um, a celebration coming to the family. It says, you know, it's 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 something that has to do with the family. You know, it's a, it's a change. You know, but there's um there's a new member coming into the family. Whether somebody's getting married or a new baby's coming to the family, but that is also. I also see that right now you are um you are achieving the things that you want, but at the same time there are people around you that they. Um, they are, I hate to say this word, but, you know, there's people around you that they're, they're jealous of you. There's people around you that um, they wonder why you got that break, why things are looking out good for you and, and not for them. And the reason for this is that you look at life at a different, you know, you look at life totally different, you know, um, you know. You, you're the type of person that you don't like to stand still. In other words, you, you have very ambitious. You're a very ambitious person. You want to achieve things in life. And there's people, whether it's family, friends, and that they're stuck because they they, they didn't want to study. They didn't want to do nothing positive, which you are. So things for you are moving rapidly in, in, in a good way. But again, um, you have people around you that they envy your luck, they envy who you are, they envy what you're trying to accomplish. But there's somebody, there's something, a new addition is coming to your family. A new addition is coming. There's a baby coming. I don't know um, who's having a baby. You know, I know it ain't me, <laughs> um, but I know there's a uh, there's a baby coming. There's a new addition coming to the family. There's a there's a baby coming. You know. Um, and you know, you're right now, everything is, is looking good, you know, but like I said, you do have people that you got, you got some haters around you, you know, but Hey, what can you do? No, you got haters. That means you're doing something great. So that's about it. Oh, Gio, let me do Gio. And then that will be, I guess that would be it. Let me see. Um, let me see. Okay, Gio. You know, there's things that I pick up, um, but there's, like, I shouldn't say here. So that's why I tell people if they want to know more, you can inbox me and I can give you, um, we can, I can give you a a private reading and we'll discuss the detail. But there, I try not to, to um, disclose things that, you know, people shouldn't really, you know, you know, really know. Okay, this is for Gio. What's his last name? Oh, excuse me. What's his last name? I saw him somewhere here. 
Gio, Gio, what was this last name? All right, Gio Ortiz, Mr. Ortiz. I need to know, I, can you understand Spanish? Because uh, I'm in English, because I had someone that um, they had called me because they didn't. So I hope you too, you know. Ortiz, do you understand? I, I can do it in English or in Spanish? I mean, English. All right. All right, Mr. Ortiz, here we go. Mr. Ortiz. Say Michael is trying to protect you. Um, uh, you you feel things things come to you in a dream, and sometimes you don't listen. Um, sometimes um, you get this bad vibe, and sometimes you listen, sometimes you don't listen. But you need to be very careful. Um, I don't, you know, you need to be very 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 careful. Uh, um, you have had situations that you shouldn't even be right now standing. You have had situations that, um, um, I'm sorry to tell you this, um, this, this card is very hard for me to say in the air, but I'm going to, um, You have had, um, you have met death a few times, but you need to be careful because uh, you ain't going to be lucky the next time. Sorry, but that's what I see. St. Michael's been trying to protect you, he's been trying to get you out of a lot of situations that you know you shouldn't be in, but um, you're stubborn, you don't listen, you have had... Um, you know, you have kind of looked at death in the face, but um, um, you just need to be very careful. That's what I have to tell you. You need to be, you need to be very careful. I don't know if you are. Um, I don't like to use this word, but I don't know if you belong in a clique or you have friends that are not really good for you and they get into some stuff that they shouldn't get and you you come out that you want to defend and you need and you want to protect people you need to be very careful because you have um death has knocked on your door and if it knocks again you are not going to be uh you're not going to be um it's uh it, if you don't listen um, you can't expect nothing good. You need to, you need to listen. You need to, um, there's someone that prays for you, that you change your ways and you do things different, but you don't want to listen. St. Michael is trying to reach to you because of where the people you hang around with, the people you associate with, and there's a lot of people around you that they're into some stuff that um, you really need to be careful. You really, really need to be careful. You need to be careful because um, um, the death card came out. And you need to be careful because um, that's the first card that came out. And I don't like when that first card comes out because that that's not, that's not good. Um, so you really need to be careful. You need to be careful who you trust, who you're hanging around with, who you're trying to protect, who you have beef with, because things aren't, they don't look good for you. All right, Mr. Ortiz, I'm sorry, but that's what I saw. Okay, who's the next person? Um, uh, 
Geo English. Okay, I did it in English for him, and that's it. No, I got Alicia, Aisha Marin, Aisha Marin. Okay, I'm gonna try to do you, Mr. Ortiz. You need to be careful. You need to, you know, don't go trying to save the world. You need to be very, very careful, Mr. Ortiz. Okay. Um. Thank you. Welcome. If you want to know more, then um, you can get in touch with me. But um, you know, there's things that I can't say here. Who am I gonna do? I'm gonna do. Aisha Marin, Aisha, is that the one? Yeah, Aisha, yeah, Aisha Marin. All right. Señor Ortiz, tiene que tener mucho, muchísimo cuidado. Eso no me quiere dejar sola, pero eso tiene que tener mucho cuidado. Tiene que tener. Okay, Miss Marin. If you're not involved with someone, someone new is coming because I see new romance, romance coming, but you need to let go of the past. You need to let go of the past. You need to let go of the hurt. You need to let go of, you know, if you are in a relationship and, and you forgave someone for betraying you, then you need to stop bringing that, that subject up. You either um, stay with it or you move on. Um, but I see that you need to let go of the past. You need to show the people who you are. And what I mean by that is that you need to show them that, you know, you're not a doormat. You're not here for people to take advantage of you. You're not here. If you have a best friend or a sister or somebody is a, is a, is a girl that you kind of like to hang around with and, and, and you talk things, if you find out, you know, and you have found out that there are things that you have told her that she has divulged to other people, then it's time for you to cut her loose. Um, you have to let go of your past. Um, I see a, a new cycle of romance coming. So if you're not in a relationship, somebody else is coming. If you are in, an, in a relationship, but this relationship has brought you only headaches and turmoil and you have been cheated on and, and for whatever reason, you, you know, you're forgiving because you don't want, you think you're not going to find someone else, then, you know, then you need to just let go of what's hurting you. And every time there's a fight, you can't bring that subject up because then you have really haven't forgotten, forgiven the person. But if you are in a, if you, somebody play with your heart and you're still with that person, then every time there's an argument, you can say, well, you know, I don't know why I'm with you because you did this to me and I forgave you. No, because if you keep bringing it up, then that means you haven't forgiven the person. So if that's going to continue bringing you headaches, turmoils and whatnot, then you need to, to cut loose and don't worry about it because you will always find you will find someone that will respect you and treat you the way you want. But they're telling me that you need to show people who you are. Um, if you are a strong woman, I'm not saying that you need to go out there and beat anybody up. That's not what I'm saying. I'm saying that you need to show people that they need to respect who you are, what's in your heart, what you give out. But you cannot continue to be a doormat for anyone. So you have to show, you know, you have to show if somebody, you know, they're, they're calling you the word, um, they're, they're, they're calling you um, like either, you know, I, I hate these words. Like I can't stand the word stupid. If somebody's calling you stupid or somebody is um, degrading you with words, you know, um, there's like the C word. I can't stand the C word, but I feel that there's, um, you know, you, you have to let go of of all that pain that person costs you, you know, if that person, you know, is not good for you, don't continue going back to that person. You have to let go of the past. You have to let go, you know, cause your past is what's holding you from not going further. You know what you need to, and you need to show the people who you are, you know, if, Hey, um, I didn't tell you how I am. I'll give you my heart and I'm there, you know, you know, if you really need me and I might give you, I give you one chance. That's it. You cheat on me, I'm out. You know, um, that's me. 
You know, some people are not like that because I'm going to be honest with you. I tell people I'm not Jesus Christ. I can't forgive. You know, I might forgive, but I'm not going to forget. And I'm not going to be in a relationship where there's going to be a lot of turmoil. So you really need to change um, the things that you're doing. You know? Yeah. Yeah. Mrs. Uh, Stephanie Wyo. Find a great man about a year ago looking to see him. Okay. Well, um, Mrs. White, um, you shouldn't, you, you know, Miss White, let me see. I'm going to do her. Miss White, let's see what I see for you. And I guess that's it. After this one, I, I have to get off. Well, I've only been on for a half an hour, so let me see. But, um, Mrs., who's, who's the one that I just did? Alicia Marin, Martin. You know, I hope I can, I, I, you know, I help you, Mama, but um, now I'm doing Miss White. Okay. Miss White. All right, Miss White. Uh, who, who am I doing? Okay, Stephanie White. All right. I mean, uh, Mrs. Isha Marin. I hate that, huh? I hope I was helpful, you know? Okay, Mrs. White, this is what I'm going to tell you. Oof. Um. You need to take care of um you need to take care of yourself like give yourself a little bit of pampering um don't um you know give yourself a little bit of pampering you know you you are um I I want to um I want to say congratulations um for you finally um being able to you know to get rid of that situation you were in but right now um what they're telling me um you do have a little bit of negativity um due to the fact that um at times you think things might repeat itself they're not going to repeat themselves what you need to do is you need to start taking care of yourself more emotionally you need to start taking care of yourself um you you're you're busy taking care of everybody and making sure everybody's okay but you also have to make sure that you're okay um you have to um you know you have to take time for you to relax you have to take time for you, you know, pamper yourself, mama, pamper yourself. You know, you need, you need, you, you, you need to like take a nice hot bubble bath. And where you're there, I want you to, to start visualizing everything good that you have and what more is coming. Um, I know at times you, you, you don't mean to. But you think about the past, like um, you don't want the past re repeating itself into the future. But if you think about that path and that bad energy, it can, you know, um, it can creep up in, in the sense that it's not, it's it's you. It's like the demons in you. You know what I'm saying? Um, you're harsh with you at times. Um, you know, there's times that... You want to um, blame yourself, but you shouldn't blame yourself because at the end of the day, no woman has the right to hit a man and no man has the right to be abusive for, to a woman, whether it's physically, mentally, or verbally. And I know that as women, uh, we are taught as young that, you know, um, there's things that we need to tolerate. And I'm sorry who gets offended, but to me, no woman no woman or no man should accept someone to um, be abusive, whether physically, mentally, or verbally. Everything for you is is um is good, but like I said, you need to pamper yourself. You need to like take a deep breath and say, I finally can um can go on with my life because you do um um. You have a little bit of jealousy in you, and 
and you 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 think about that um you know you think about the hell you've been through don't bring that in, into here you know that's that's you know you you know i don't see no red flags i just see that um you know you're too busy taking care of everybody and and making sure that everybody's happy also you have to make sure that you are happy everything that was negative it's it's behind you because you finally decided that that's not what you deserve this is what you deserve i do see um new things better things coming in your way maybe within um i don't know maybe within um if you don't have any children maybe within maybe around the summertime you might be expecting, but I see good things, but do not, under no circumstance, do not allow what happened in the past to creep up into the, you can't treat this relationship like the past relationship that you had, because it says, you know, it tells you that, you know, sometimes you let the negativity block you, but no, uh, every man is different, every woman is different, and you, we can always see the red flags, you know what I'm saying? You've been through hell, and that should, you should be able to now, um, stand on your own and if somebody i'm not saying that this person that is in your life will ever become that the way the other one was but what i'm letting you know is you already know what you went through and you should never allow it to happen again all right i guess that is it oh well thank you stephanie white yeah yeah um you know i understand you because when you've been hurt and you've been cheated on and you've been you know, treat it like, um, you know, I, you know, knock on wood, thank God, I've, you know, I've never been in a, um, in an abusive relationship where a man thought that he can hit me, no, um, but, you know, I, I was cheated on, but I filed for divorce because, you know, I don't, you know, that's, I don't pull up with that. If I give you love and I give you respect, that's what I expect. And if you can't give me that love and you can't give me that respect, then there's no reason to be together. And I'm glad that you finally woke up from that because, you know, if you're not, the, if you don't curse your partner, you shouldn't allow your partner to curse at you. If you don't, you know, if, if your partner is the type of person that or everything he has to or she wants to fix it by screaming and yelling, that is an abusive relationship it's a verbal you know is a is a verbally abusive and we don't need to put up with that and no man should put up with that so i'm glad that you know and you know work on that that's when i tell you you need to pamper yourself you need to work on you know on that little bit okay mama that's what you need to do yeah bless you that you put up with it for 10 years because i wouldn't put up with it for not even a week um you know Who's the other one? Liani Sanchez. I'm going to do you, you know. And Stephanie, if you want to know more, you can um, inbox me, okay? But, um, you know, you know, things are going to look up for you. You know, you just don't, um, you know, you just don't, you know, look at the, fl look at the red flags. You know, you already know, you know, you already know. I don't, you know... You got to look for what's going to make you happy. And if you feel that um, Mr. A is not making you happy and you need to stay alone for a while until Mr. B or Mr. D or whoever comes that's going to make you happy, that's it. We don't need, life is too short to tolerate any type of abuser, whether it's physically, mentally, or verbally. Life is too short. You know, um, we are women. We're very nurturing, you know, women. You know, I understand that there are some women that they're, you know, hell on wheels as well as men. But if you are a good, kind person and, you know, and and you just want love and, and whatnot, then you seek for that love. You know, don't don't settle for short. Life is too short. We don't even know if we're going to be, up, you know. I say that I'm going to be here tomorrow, but you never know what's going to, you know, what can happen. So, you know, I'm really proud of you, Mama. I'm very, very um, proud of you. You know, keep up the good work and and do time. You know, you'll have what you want, but, you know, take pamper yourself. And what I meant by pampering is to heal some of the wounds that you need to heal. Excuse me. Who I have? Who else I, um, I have? Um. Okay, Mama. Stephanie, no, Liani Sanchez. 
Oh my God, I don't even have my cup of coffee. Now. I want some coffee. All right, Miss Liani Sanchez, I'm going to see what I have for you. What is the cosmos saying for all these beautiful people? And I really want to thank all of you guys for tuning in. If I was helpful, you know, just click like um, my page and continue, you know, following. You know, our destiny changes every day. So I am doing now Liani Sanchez. Okay, Mrs. Liani Sanchez. Let's see what I have for you. All right, Mrs. Leone, here it goes. You need to look at the bigger picture because you need to do, again, this is the time for you that you need to take care of yourself. You need to heal more. Uh, you've been through, oh. You've been to a rough circle right now. You've been, whether it's um, you lost a loved one or you lost your job or you just ended a relationship, but you've been through a lot. And this circle right now is coming to an end. Um, you know, everything negative that is there is coming to an end, but it's the time for you to heal because you have not healed. You are grieving, um, you know, and sometimes you sometimes you really don't want to look at the bigger picture sometimes you you act like you know you know this will pass and you know and you're very forgiving but there's things that you shouldn't be forgiving um there's things that you need to put an end to it um don't be afraid of the new changes that it's going to come don't be afraid that if you feel that you can't make it you know we're a very strong woman uh you will be able to make it but the this tough circle my god what what a rough year you know i want to say maybe three years it's, it's going on three years um it's coming to an end you know but you have to you have to heal you have to heal yourself Physically, mentally, and especially your emotions. You have to heal your emotion. Uh, um, sometimes you're, you're caring and loving, but sometimes it's like um, you don't, you know why, and I'm not going to say it online, uh, online but you, you kind of snap. It's like you don't have the patience anymore. You're 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 just tired. Like you're tired that you wasted all this time and and whatnot, and you didn't get what you you thought you were gonna get. You know, um, but you need to look at the the whole picture. It's time for you to heal and all this this bad energy, this bad. You know, whether this bad luck is everything is coming to an end. You just might have to make sure that um, you handle things in a in a proper way you know that's it because you know life has been tough mama life's been tough with you you know but you 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 can't start something new until you do your healing you have to do that healing um i uh, uh, forgive me for what i'm gonna say and this this is in general um sometimes Sometimes we want love so bad and that love is hurting us and we continue going back to that situation. And then sometimes, you know, some people are afraid that they're not going to find love or they're afraid because of all the damage that the other person did that you, we don't or, you know, you don't deserve love or you don't deserve a, like a Prince Charming. There's not really a Prince Charming, but there are good men's out there as well as good women. But this cycle of yours, um, you have to put an end to it. It's, it's, it's coming to an end. Whether you want to or not, it's coming uh, to an end. And you have to look at the uh, at the big picture. You need to take the blindfolds. You know, you've been wearing those blindfolds for a long time. You need to take them off um, because you're only hurting yourself. You're not hurting nobody. You're hurting yourself. All right, Mrs. Um, who was she? Uh, Ms. Liani Sanchez. I guess that's it, guys. 
Did I did everybody? Yeah, I did Miss Stephanie White. Yeah, so that's it. You know. So again, I want to say thank you for joining me, and I will see you um, tomorrow. Please, no one call me and tell me that you forgot to read me or or this one was online because I can't do it. Um, Liani. All right, Sanchez. I you know um. I really, truly, you know, um, hope, you know, that when I do these three, you know, the three cards for people that I really can um, give you guys some type of um, relief and some type of guidance, you know, um, because I know sometimes that um, we're looking for someone that it's an outsider, you know, and I don't know anybody. So, you know, I only tell you what the cards tells me, what my guardian angel, what my spirits tell me, you know, to tell you guys. So, you know, I wish you guys, um, you know, a lot of luck. I will see you guys tomorrow. And thank you for tuning in. Like I said, if you were pleased with the reading, uh, you know, follow my channel. Give it three clicks so you can become a follower and like. And if you, I do cleansing. I do a lot of spiritual stuff that, um. If you want to know more, you can inbox me and I'll give you the details. But, you know, again, thank you. Remember, um, always never lose faith because faith will always get you to what you want to. With faith, you can conquer the world. And I believe in faith. That's something that my belated mom instilled on all her children, especially the girls. Don't ever lose faith. You know, even though a door is closed and you feel that that door will never open, that door is going to, you know, will open. You just have to have the determination, you know. So I'm glad that I was able to help, you know, whoever tuned in today. Um, like I said, God bless. Um, don't lose faith. And this is Cafe Con Maria, but I don't have a mug. I left it outside of my porch. So I will see you. Um, I will see you guys tomorrow. You, you welcome, Miss um, Miss Riva. So again, guys. See you tomorrow. And look, today I did not have no grade. You know, so um, good night. See you guys tomorrow. Ciao.